we're almost there now. Your exams are almost over. It's crazy how fast it's gone. I can't believe it. Like for me, I was literally just, it was literally just September and my channel had like 10,000 subscribers. Not even that, I think 7,000. And here we are near the end of GCSEs and I'm on 25,000 subscribers. So I do just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for the support. Like I've literally been completely blown away by it. So let's finish really strong for our exams now. And that's what I want to do in this video is help you guys with chemistry paper two. Now, the first thing and the most important thing is you've got to keep yourself motivated to keep going. Lots of students will drop off at this point. Okay, they'll think, oh, it's a few left. I just can't be bothered. Don't do that. Yeah, I know. I know you're tired. I know you don't really want to do it. Right. I know the feeling because I'm actually resetting history this year and I've got my exam in two days. And one part of me just thinks I just don't really want to do it. I can't really be bothered. Surely it doesn't matter that much. But you've got to put out your mind and you've got to just push for it. Last few days for weeks, months, years of rewards. OK, think about how you're going to feel on results day. So probably the biggest piece of advice I can give you guys is the motivation that you should keep going, especially because lots of the country is dropping off. Now is your chance to get ahead secure some really strong final results, okay? If you're aiming for top grades across the board like I was, aiming for all nice, you can't just slip slip off. You've got to push and go even further for these final few papers. So that should keep you motivated. Right, let's go through then in detail what you should be doing for paper two. Now, some of you guys will probably be able to predict what I'm about to say, and that is practicals, okay? And starting with this one, usually I say practicals at the end, just because it's gonna come up. If you don't know this paper too well, the first thing you need to do is watch a free science lessons videos on those practicals, okay? And then maybe do some practical like questions. But either way, learn your practicals. At least remind yourself on of them. The worst mistake you can do is not even know the practicals because they're gonna come up, you're gonna get tested on them. So at least get familiar with those practicals, okay? That's the first thing. And I know you've heard me say that a lot. I know you've heard me say a lot of what I'm gonna say in this video a lot, but that means that you're understanding it, yeah? If if it feels like I'm repeating stuff to you, that means you get it, right? You understand what you need to be doing. Anyway, next point then as well is Seneca. Now, I don't often talk about this for these like last minute videos, but if you were me, I'd probably have a look at the Seneca course for my science, okay? Seneca, by the way, for those of you that don't know, is like a revision learning website. It's really good. And I would just pick out maybe one topic that I wanted to focus on. And I'd just go through the Seneca for that topic. OK, so just have a little look. You can still learn some topics, especially your weakest topic. We ideally want to just like improve your weakest topic. That's you should always focus on your weaknesses, basically. Right, my next point then is something that I know some students have really enjoyed and really found useful. And that is AI revision. Now, recently, I've only really discovered this. This wasn't a thing for my GCSE exams, but I've been using it loads for a levels okay and so those of you that are subscribed and stuff i'm going to be doing loads of a level videos next year talking about that in more detail but chat gpt is an absolute weapon okay like it's so useful for your exams so my main advice with chat gpt is literally type to it say something like i'm doing chemistry tomorrow and i'm doing aqa combined and paper two and then you could say something like give me a 10 question quiz for quick fire just to cover lots of content okay it, it'll give you a quiz you respond Maybe it might give you the answers already and you might need to say like, you might need to adapt with ChatGPT, say like, no, don't show me the answers, that type of thing. You respond and say, give me another 10. Respond, something like that. ChatGPT can be really helpful. Say to it, give me a quiz that tests me on all of the most likely concepts to come up, all of the core concepts. I would spend, and I have been spending sometimes like 40 minutes just typing into ChatGPT, um, getting tested on loads of different questions, getting its main advice. It's really helpful. Don't overload it. OK, because it's more passive revision, but do questions on ChatGPT like quick fire like that will be really, really useful. I'll put a prompt in the description of something that you can put in, but experiment with ChatGPT, get it to test you on random stuff, get it to help you find your weaknesses. And that's a really nice, effective bit of revision. And I've also found it's a bit easier to do than like Seneca or something. So do both if you can. But AI revision is really useful. As always, then spam practice questions, right? Don't give up on this. Keep doing this. You should be doing as many questions as you can because in chemistry, the more you do, the more you realize stuff comes up again and again. In my view, paper two for AQA at least is an easier paper. Okay, so that's really good. I think it is a lot better. As always, then guess. So don't leave anything blank. Just guess what you can. If you really don't know and don't feel confident for this paper, watch a summary video first because then at least you've covered everything. So stuff will be in the back of your head and then at least you're making a bit more of an educated guess. And there are a couple like annoying topics like the ion tests and stuff like that. So my advice for that is flashcard them. Just there's quite a lot of definitions and make sure you learn those. Like that could be a quick flashcard. You still have the time 
no matter when you're watching this video, unless you're literally watching it five minutes before, I know some people do, and in that case, you've got this, but you still have time to learn like 10, 20 definitions for chemistry, okay? So I'll put some in the description, have a look at them, but learn some definitions, practice, and yeah, you've got this, to be honest, guys. So I'm really confident for everyone. It's going to go well. If you're really stuck, watch a summary video, use some AI to help you, maybe do a Seneca topic, but just keep pushing, keep putting those hours in for these final few papers. I'm going to be doing a couple more videos for physics we've got and stuff. And that one, everyone should be going full out for, for physics. So I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next video, which for some of you may be the final video of GC exam season that you watch on my channel. So yeah, leave any questions, leave any comments and thanks for all the support again.